Hi, Gleek.io fans! This time, we'll show you how to create input, output, and iteration in a flowchart using the example of a user login flowchart. Open up the Gleek.io app in your browser. You don't need to change anything in the dropdown. We're just going to use very basic shapes for our flowchart. Let's begin with the start shape. Just write the word start followed by a colon and the word Q. Next up is the input, which we'll call input login information. Add a colon after the name and then start typing. Gleek will give you a list of options after you type the colon and you can select the shape you need. This illustrates the point at which a user enters their username and password into the application. Now we'll connect these two shapes with an arrow. We have two options after the user inputs the login information, so we need to use the decision symbol. The decision is in the form of the question, is the login correct? This has a diamond shape and we'll connect it with our input box. If both password and username are correct, we'll give our user access to the application. We'll use a standard rectangle shape as the process symbol with the text Grant Access. Then we'll connect it with the arrow labeled Yes with a decision shape. Now we can end this branch of the flowchart with the End symbol. Just write End with the same shape as we used for Start to finish it. Unfortunately, it's also possible for our user to make a mistake in the login information by entering the wrong username or wrong password. We'll use an output shape with the text Output Login Error in this case and display an error message in our application. As you can see, input and output share the same symbol. We'll connect the output with a decision symbol and a labeled arrow saying No. When the login information is wrong, the user needs to go back to the input stage and enter the login data correctly, so we'll create a new line connecting output with input. This creates a nice loop, or iteration. Iteration just means to repeat. The user needs to repeat entering login data until the login is correct. We hope this simple example gives you an idea of how to use inputs, outputs, and iteration when creating flowcharts. If you like this explanation, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Happy diagramming!